It's been a while since we made tag house, so let's make some tag house today. <laughs> So let's start off with the drums. First, I got this kick from the Underground Tales pack. It's linked down below. Right now we're having a bundle sale as well, so you can get all the Underground Tales packs for a discounted price. Starting off with this kick, just drop it in at every beat. And then it's open head. And the off beat. Then Drop in a clap loop. Right now these clap snares are really popular in the tag house scene. Giving us this basic drum loop. So then we're gonna add in a groove with a closed head. Pan it slightly to the left. And place it right here. Then we're gonna drop in another closed head. Pan to the right. Place right here. Then I got him slightly off the grid. And copy them over. Something like this. So then we're gonna add in a lot of random shots. Like these ones. So for example, dropping this one. So I just dropped in a lot of random shots from the pack. Just some small things to spice up the groove some more. You can barely hear it, but it's fitting really nice in the background. Then we're gonna spice up the groove some more. With the glitch loops. Sounding really weird as well, in context for the drums, it sounds really cool, so... Let's drop in this one. Remove the low ends. And give it a side chain. Something like this. Adding some of the bounce to it. And then to finish it off, I want to add a tribal look to it. Let's try this one. Yeah, that's good enough to fit into the other groove at the moment. So then I wrote them out to a bus channel. Add a sound compression. Bit of transient shaping and some distortion to add some more harmonics to the drums at around 5% so all together the drums sound like this we got a foundation ready with the drums so now we're going to spice it up with a vocal sample so head over to the vocal tabs from another phone, bitch, don't get lost, turn around, don't and stop let's dancing to the sound, make the get Just drop it in, and pitch it down for seven tones Get lost, turn so around, get it in. don't stop dancing to e the sound, make the walls go round the low They're gonna arrange it, get because the last part of the phobo is really glitchy I wanna use the part in the drop, but not in the build up so just use the first part yeah, in the build up. Don't stop dancing to the sound. Make the walls go on the low. Give it a side chain. Let's get, get, get and out of the side chain. Don't stop dancing. So enable it in the drop. Make the walls go on the low. Pour it up and let's get, 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 get. Sound like this. Don't stop dancing to the sound. Make the walls go on the low. Pour it up and let's get, 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 get. So that's it for the vocal. So now we're gonna dive in the bass. I got this new serum loaded up. So let's pick a preset from the underground tag out spec. So in these underground tag out tracks, the bass is really rhythmic. Like for example in this track. So we need a punchy bass. I picked this preset. So now we're gonna dive in the MIDI. The MIDI consists of really short and fast notes. As I said, we're gonna work in E minor, so let's start off on the root notes right here.
and vary between the length of the modes. Also, make some other switches. Just like this. And just copy it over and give some notes some um, emphasis with a velocity. Again, for some more groove. Just like this. So mixing wise, we're only gonna use a side chain. Which sounds really weird and offbeat right now, but to get rid of the kick, it sounds like this. So that's it for the bass. We got a foundation ready, so now we're gonna spice it up with some lead sounds. First, I wanna add a synth step and a star of the drop. So let's pick a wobble sound. For a half a bar. Just like this. Then add some distortion. Remove the low end. Make it really stereo. And a side chain to finish it off. Sounding like this. It's really underground. So then I added another serum. And let's add in another step sound. Make a small feel like this while walking on the scale. And then just remove the low end. And add some reverb to it. Of course, the side gen as well. Something like this. Small difference, but all together it will add some more energy to it. So this will be the first part of the drop. And then when the vocal is done playing, I want to add another lead sound to it right here. So I added another serum to it. Let's pick this plug sound from the Bono. And make a rhythmic sound. Just like this. And duplicate it. Bump it up an octave. And some melodic variation at the end. To the third and the seventh note of the scale. And it's really dope. Mixing wise, only add a side chain to it. And place it right here. So now we only need to arrange the drop. So for the arrangement, I added some automations. First, I automated an imager to go from stereo to mono. So let it drop it harder. Then I dropped in the drums with some in the swell automations. So it kind of fades in. Together with a string sound from left. Just a simple one to fit it up some more. And I automated a mod wheel of the plug. So it opens up, giving a build up vibe. And to finish it off, I added a local animation on the master as well. To make the transition just a little bit smoother. So that's how you make a Tegas rock. I think it turned out really dope, so let me know what you think about it as well in the comments. Besides, if you like the video, leave a like and a subscribe button, and see you all in the next videos. Let's get it.